Today, I'm going to make some grouper marinated in an oriental sauce. I'm really looking forward to this cook. We got some Chinese five spice, some peanut sauce. It's just going to be awesome. Alright, to get this going, I've got a half a cup of soy sauce. And then in here, I've got it all mixed together, but I've got some sesame oil, some minced ginger, garlic, I got some peanut sauce, some poison sauce, and some fish sauce. I'll put all the exact amounts down in the description box below. And then here I've got some Chinese five spice powder, some kosher salt, uh, fresh cracked black pepper, and then we've got a little brown sugar. I'm just going to give this a good stir, get it all mixed up, and then uh, we'll get these grouper marinating. What I've got here are some small grouper fillets. Um, I stopped by the fish store yesterday. You know, the, the big thick grouper fillets uh, were like 19 bucks a pound, but they had these smaller ones on sale for 10 bucks a pound. So all I'm going to do is put these guys in a bag. Then we're going to take that um, marinade we made. Okay. And I'm just going to put these in the fridge. It's been about, actually been about five hours. I couldn't figure out how I was going to cook this grouper. What I'm going to do is just dredge it in a little cornstarch. Then what I'm going to do is cook it on Donna's Himalayan salt block. That's exactly what we're going to do. I've been heating this guy up for an hour to make sure we don't bust it in two. It's going to get a little butter going on this guy. Then we're going to take some of that grouper that we dredged in cornmeal and get it working on here. Now this grouper is cooking on the salt block. I don't want to waste this marinade. We're going to cook it because I know you guys will freak out if I eat it right out of the bag. The first two pieces of grouper look done to me. What do you think? I'm not sure if this um, cornstarch is the way to go. Ouch. I don't know, it might be the way to go. It's pretty dang good. Wow, that's good. Alright. So what I'm going to do for these last two fillets, as you can see, I've made a mess here. I'm going to put a little bit more butter on here. And these last two, I'm going to cook without the cornstarch. Let's see which one I like better. I can tell you this, those ones with the cornstarch taste pretty darn good. Alrighty. This grouper fillet has got great color. Great smell, by the way. The grouper fillet has been cooking about three minutes on that side. I'm just going to turn it over. Dang, I'll tell you what, the smell is just freaking incredible. Alright, so we've got our sauce boiling or the marinade. I think it'll be okay to eat now. And it's thickened up a bit, so let's get it poured up. Alright, I think our grouper fillets are done. Let's get them off of here and give them a taste. So here's a little piece of this grouper that I dredged in the cornstarch. 
And here's a piece that I just um, grilled direct on the salt block. Now we're going to give, uh, they look pretty good, both of them. We're going to give these guys a try. This first piece I'm going to do is was uh, dredged in the cornstarch. Mm. Man, I'll tell you one thing. There's all kinds of Asian going on there. Now let me try the one that was grilled with no cornstarch. Really like that sauce. Hmm. Well, I gotta tell you. For those of you who haven't had grouper, it's an extremely light fish. So you want to make sure you don't put too much seasoning on it. You know, and, and any. Ooh, it's so good. I should say you, you should want you want to make sure. You don't overwhelm it with seasoning. Hmm. I gotta tell you, um, the the grouper with the cornstarch, I didn't really see much difference. I I, uh, I mean I saw a recipe where you know you dredge it in cornstarch first. Hmm. Don't really see the advantage because they're both awesome. Hey, again, thanks for watching another one of our episodes. This this recipe would work with multiple types of whitefish. I hope you'll subscribe. If you have any questions, leave us a comment.